Now with this video, I'm going to play with capacitors. And what we're going to do is we're going to build a dimming circuit to dim the light bulb. So I've got my light bulb here. And actually I'm going to put my light bulb right here. Because the way I hook up the capacitors, it's a good visual to have it set up like this. I'm going to use my switch. I'm going to switch the ground side. So I'm going to start by hooking up my ground side first. So Okay, now I'll hook up my positive side, which is pretty easy on this. I'm just going to hook up the light bulb for now. So when I turn on the switch, my light bulb lights up. Now if you notice when I turn the switch on and turn the switch off, the light bulb turns on and off instantly as soon as I turn the switch. It turns right off. What I want to do is I want to make this fade out so it fades gradually. Now because these capacitors are really small, they're not very big, um, it'll fade, but it'll fade pretty rapidly because the capacitors aren't very big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook the, the capacitors up in parallel. Now I've got two capacitors here, and so I've got one here and one here. They both share a, a common ground. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up the ground on the capacitor to start with. So there's my ground on the capacitor. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by hooking up the first one. So this is the big or a big capacitor, and I'm going to turn on the light. When I turn it on, as long as the light is on, it's going to charge up that capacitor. And that capacitor will continue to charge until the amount of electricity inside the capacitor is equal to my source voltage here. So it doesn't take very long on a 12 volt circuit for this capacitor to charge up fully. So when I turn it off, you'll notice the light dims out, but it dims out rather quickly. See? It doesn't turn off instantaneously like it did before. So if I want to re increase the amount of time that it takes for that to dim out, I'm going to add the other capacitor to it. Now I'm going to turn it on. Now what's happening is it's charging up both of these capacitors. And when I turn it off, see it dims a little slower now because I've got two capacitors that are dimming. So just what's happening here is these are two fixed capacitors. When I've got the circuit lit like this, it's charging up those two capacitors. Once I turn the switch off and I've cut the, the uh, ground here, what's happening is those capacitors now become the positive and the ground for this circuit. So to prove that, I can disconnect the ground altogether on here. And you see how it dims out? by completely disconnecting the ground over here, um, it still can stay lit just a little bit. And that's because these now become the positive and the ground in the circuit. Now if I were to get two more capacitors and hook them up, um, then I could increase the amount of time that my light dims. So let's try that. So I went and picked up another set of, tra uh, another set of uh, um, capacitors. <clears throat> now we're going to hook them up in parallel again. So here again, we're just going to hook up in parallel and we'll see what happens. So I've got one more jumper wire and I'm going to hook it up in parallel as well. So my stack gets pretty high up here on my parallel circuit. So what I've got is I've got these two capacitors and these two capacitors hooked up in parallel with my light. My light's turned on, so all four capacitors are charging up. Now when I turn my light off, see how it dims out pretty slowly? The longer I leave it on, the more it discharge, or the longer it uh, takes to um, dim out. See there? So that's one um, instance or that's one uh, use for a capacitor in a circuit. So this is just building a dimming circuit on there. And like I say, if you continue adding capacitors in parallel, you'll increase the amount of time that that 
uh, light stays on. And there again, we can prove that uh, the capacitors are actually providing power and ground by taking away the ground altogether, unplugging it completely, and the light still stays lit for a second. If you didn't have any capacitors on there at all, so let's, dis let's take away all of our capacitors here. Okay, I'm gonna remove them from the board completely so you can get the visual on this. <laughs> get so many wires on here, it gets all tangled up. Okay, so I've taken my capacitors completely away. Now if I, if I take away my ground together, all together, it goes out instantaneously because there's nothing there to power up the light afterwards. And also when I use the switch, it's the same thing. It turns on and off instantaneously. So that's how you would use a capacitor to build a dimming circuit.